it is all your Anything weird? False alarm, I guess. Bani of Shah will hear of this. Mark my words. Kuchmilakya, did you have any luck? No. That tailor is impossible. I explained to his employee that Miss Shah wants to meet with him, but he claimed that the tailor wasn't available. So you didn't just go inside and look? Only the Royal Guard can do stuff like that. I'm sure Miss Shah will send someone with more hands-on experience than me. He's the only tailor in town that can make that damn dress. That's what happens when you drown all the others, I guess. for a while. If anyone asks for me, just tell them I'm not here. Hello, sir. Welcome to our shop. Can I help you with anything? You there.
Got to respect a man. Excellent. I'll let the boss know. Anything else? Ah, it's you. Hey, what's Did up? Did you bring the cloth for Miss Shah? Yes. I have it right here. About bloody time! Come with me! Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so the guards will search you. Not to worry. I'm afraid your honest look isn't going to cut it here. I'm gonna have to frisk you pretty much. What the shit? Hold that position. No we'll be done way. in no time. Go on ahead. Seriously, who just leaves their toys like... Miss Shah has been dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't disappoint her then. <laughs> that is a good idea. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Just play along with her eccentricities. She can be rather dangerous. Thank you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there will be a lot of money in it for you. I know. I understand you. A tailor or something. Makes my skin grow. The queen does what she Here we are. We have Just go through there, please. The queen is waiting for you in the garden. I feel perhaps that is not the wisest decision to make when Situation. Of course, eventually you'll have extra hands to assist you with your income, provided the child lives so long. <laughs> that. What is the problem? Little Raji is not well. Five years, Mr. Hussein. Five, five years, my queen. Yes, five additional years of servitude to your queen. For you and your wife. In exchange, I will take care of the bills for your new one until she is old enough to work the spinning wheels. That is my offer, Mr. Hussein. Talk it over with your wife. I expect your acceptance tonight. Good day. Ah, the elusive tailor. Here at last. Let's have a look at the cloth you've chosen. I want to make sure the color is the right one. Yes, of course. You fool! I asked for cerulean. Are you deliberately trying to upset your queen? Don't answer. Just go and fetch what I'm asking for. Yes, of course. Here it is. Excellent. Finally, some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements while you're here. You there. Leave us. I want some privacy. Let's start the measuring right away. If you didn't bring a tape, I'm pretty certain one of the other tailors left theirs behind. You can use that. They won't need it. I'm ready. Begin your measurements now, Dana. Wow. 
Ah, you made it out alive. I was getting ready to dispose of another dead body. It's me. It is imperative you notify me as soon as Sargar's barbershop is open again. He is an excellent source of information, and I want to make sure he understands who he's working for now. Signal me at once when the shop is open. That is all. Achha, ek baat bata. Any idea why the boss wants to know when the barbershop is open again? Yeah. Sargar, the barber, has a side business dealing in information. He basically has every snitch in the slum sharing the news with him. Boss to be shown a picture of the boss so he'd recognize him when meeting him. He says having a secret. I honestly don't understand what he means. The guy's a bit of a mystery to me. Find somewhere. I don't want to test my patience. Virtually non-existent. Back up! Ah! So, you like violence, huh? Let's see you try that on me. Now. 
Is Zafan good to go? I know they're still trying to find the right lines for the shoot, but in case they do, I need to be ready. You know what? Okay, slow down, Peter. Details. I need details. Who am I chasing? Gregory Rotter. Has anyone seen Gregory Rotter recently? Yeah, we got an idea of who this is. Photo shoot with Mr. Ranglan. Everyone else is ready. If anyone sees Gregory Rotter, let me know. Perfect. Oh, Next one. Oh. Know who you're messing please. with? Get your city ass out here nice and quiet. That's good. Now, really project. Like real projection. Hey, you! Where do you think you're going? Definitely not through here. Get out of my face. Hey, buddy, this area is off limits. Thank you. I'm glad we don't have a problem. national career and all that, but she's quite frankly more valuable to us here. How did that you handle it? That is Darwood Rangan, producer of mediocre movies and a full-time nice, criminal. Nice indeed. His brutality Tragic, is overshadowed course. only by his giant ego. She wouldn't dare to leave the country, na? Hmm. You're certain it's not fatal? For a few years, at least. Much, much. Excellent. Pleasure <gasps> doing business with you, Doctor. Hey, listen. You dropped something back there. Are give me an update on Gregory Arthur? Did our people manage to find that fool yet? Not yet, sir. We have confirmation he's somewhere in the slums, but there's a lot of people down there. Well, we can't have the rap shoot done without him, so find him! It feels like all I'm doing here is sitting and waiting. We're on it, sir. Yes, what is it? It's the food, Mr. Rangan. Uh, the catering seems to have delivered the wrong things and they refuse to do anything about it. Hey, then uh, you lean on them a little trouble, harder, man. my friend. I'm, uh, I'm not really comfortable with that, Mr. Rangan. Comfortable? Who cares about that? Uh, you come here to me, Daud Rangan, an incredibly busy man, and you tell me these ridiculous things about catering as if I should take care of it for you? You are an adult. It's your job. Take care of it yourself. Understand? Yes, Mr. Rangan. Thank you. Bloody idiot. This looks like a very recent picture of the Maelstrom. With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible.
Hope we get a few days off soon. Would you like to talk to him? That I would. That I would. Decision time. Rat. Need some assurance. On your shot. I'll phone find out. I think you need to worry about your situation here and now. And if you think you can pull a double double agent on me, I live. Well, if you insist. <clears throat> Drop you? Really? Time to fly, little rat. <clears throat> Darwood Rangan is confirmed killed. Howard Rangan is conf- Excuse me, sir! You dropped something! Darwood Rangan is confirmed killed. Don't move a goddamn muscle. Just one target left. Let's bring this one home. One. Area is clear. Please advise, over. We need to secure the area. I need you to get as far away as possible. This is for your own safety. Do you understand? Lovely day. There's a fine line between being a super and being a super Negative command. Got nothing so far. I wonder if we could see that. Mr. Arthur? This is Gregory Arthur. You are needed for a photo shoot inside the Rangan Tower. Can anyone see Mr. Gregory Arthur, please? Thank you. 
47, that man there, he resembles the Maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. What? Look, Don't there move. he is! Hands over your head. Take hmm. him down! No, Take it's not him. That man there, he resembles the Maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. Shame, not the Maelstrom. I'm sweating and cold. Oh no, here we go again. Find someplace quick, Gregory. <sighs> Where's the barber? My job interview is in an hour. Shame, not the maelstrom. How are you? around where you're not supposed to. You can't get away with this. Oh, this <laughs> Shop open yet? Baba, hey, open the shop. I desperately need a shave. Namaste. We're open for business. We know what the Maelstrom looks like and expect him to show up. Patience and shaving cream is what's on the menu now, 47. This shape. It's to me. Hello. 
Hello. Can I get a that shave? Wasn't you? You're up, no. sir. Yes. Forty-seven. That man by the counter. That's the maelstrom. That looks like our patience paid off. How about you invite him in for a close shave? the other day. He swears it was none other than the famous hitman known as the Kashmirian. Can you believe it? A world famous hitman right here in Mumbai. Sounds plausible. Tell me more. Well, he dropped him off near the Chols. He recognized the man because he's really interested in true crime fiction. He was close to asking him for an autograph, but he decided against it. Probably a good idea. Okay. Good as new. Hey, wah, wah. That is a title shave I've ever had. for you now, sir. Thank you, my friend. All right, I'm ready for my shave. Make it a close one. The tides are changing, my friend. Can you feel it in the air? My bones are creaking with joy at the prospect of what is about to happen. I don't feel anything, I'm afraid. The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. I find it very open. According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. Looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place? This was our prison, 
Where father trained us, shaped us into killers for providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact, you and I. Do this. And we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject Six. Your name is Subject Six. And what is our purpose? To take them all down.